Born of the Gods is the second set in the Theros block. The line between Nyx, the realm of the gods, and the Poli, where the mortals live, is becoming more and more blurred. Creatures made of enchanted celestial matter roam the plane with increasing frequency. This influx of Nyx born is most likely due to a native of Theros, the partying planeswalker Xenagos, performing many strange rituals to aid in his quest to take up a missing place in the Pantheon, the god of revels. With the rest of the gods unaware of Xenagos' ascension being the cause of the turmoil, they aim their frustration at each other, waging battles in and around the Poli. Elspeth and the rest of the humans fend off an attack by the Minotaur god Mogus, but unbeknownst to them, their celebration after their victory was the last key to unlocking Xenagos' godhood. With Elspeth blamed for the fellow planeswalker's ascension, she's once again without a plane she can call home. In an additional power struggle, a young planeswalker from Zendikar, Kiora, has recently appeared on Theros with the hopes of controlling not only its massively powerful oceans, but also the creatures that reside beneath the waves. After showcasing her power a little too readily, the resident merfolk of Theros see her as an avatar of the sea god Thassa, who does not appreciate part of her following worshipping a false idol. The fighting in the rest of the pantheon has certainly not ceased as Xenagos' ascension was completed, as the rest of the gods now fear how mortals might look upon them, considering a lesser being has joined their ranks. Heliod, with the hopes of restoring order to the plane, must come up with a plan that can somehow destroy the now indestructible Xenagos. Whatever his plan may be will not be easy and will come at a great cost.